Hello, it is Debbie Ison here of Tranquil Awakenings Lincoln. I am a therapist and trainer. And today I am coming on here to talk to you about my spirit releasement work. Now this is something I am getting an awful lot of questions about, so it's going to take more than one video. Today, however, I'm going to focus on this question that's being presented to me, which is, if you come across a person or a place that has a spiritual attachment, can you always get rid of it? So for me, the simple answer is no, I can't personally always get rid of it. I do believe, however, there is a solution and these things can be shifted and moved on. It's just sometimes there may be a reason why that cannot happen yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a little overview today of some of the reasons why I might not personally be able to shift something on that's attached. Now, often it comes down to timing. If it's the wrong time to release something, I will not be permitted to do it. So if I'm ever presented with a client or somebody coming to me asking me to do energetic release work, I will always ask my higher self, I'll meditate on it, and I'll also check with my pendulum to see whether it is the right thing for me or not. And if I get an intuitive response that it is a no, I always listen to that because there is a reason. And there could be lots of different reasons. Firstly, it could be that my specific skill set is not the right one to shift whatever's there. There are lots of us out there doing this work with different roles. Some of us may be better at perhaps dealing with curses. Others of us perhaps lost souls. Maybe some of us that are more skilled at working with the darker energies. So it may simply be that it's not the right one for me to deal with. And where possible, I attempt to point you in a direction that may be more useful. Other times, it might be that I'm not in the right place to do it. So with any therapeutic work, it's always really important that the therapist is in the right space emotionally and energetically, because if not, it can wear their energies out and it means they can't always give it all to the situation. And that is very much the case when it comes to dealing with entities. So I will only take on so much of this work and only if I'm feeling well within myself. So if I am poorly, if I'm run down, if I'm stressed or overwhelmed, I will not remove something from a client or a building at that time. And that is because it can be very dangerous. It can be dangerous for me personally, because if I'm not energetically protected and have all my defences in place, the thing can attack me or try and attach to me and that can leave me ill or depleted. And if that's the case, I'm no help to anyone. So it has to occur within the right timing in terms of my strength and resilience. Other things it may need to consider is also the individual I'm working with, whether they are at the right space and time to deal with it whether they have got the strength and resilience to shift something at that time. Now, normally the case is yes, because if something is attached to someone, whether it's got good intentions or not, it will be draining their energy and possibly creating side effects, both mentally and emotionally. However, sometimes something isn't allowed to be removed at a specific time because a different sort of learning needs to occur first for that individual to be ready to release that attachment. And that is often because even if the person isn't consciously aware there's something energetically attached to them, on some level a relationship may have formed. And even if that relationship is negative and toxic, just in the same as an abusive relationship in day-to-day -day life, sometimes the individuals may want to hold on to that. So unless an individual is actually ready and willing to get rid of whatever's attached to them, then I'm not permitted to intervene free will ultimately is always the highest rule that we need to follow that everything is entitled to its own free will and choice so if either the client that I'm working with doesn't want to shift and move things I'm unlikely to go there unless I'm being asked for help and guidance by the thing that is attached 
If, however, both parties have no desire to be separated from one another, I'm not permitted to do so, even if I think it's of the highest good for both the client and whatever is attached. I have to be respectful of choice at all times. Otherwise, I'm in violation of important universal laws. If, however, there's one of the individuals that are being violated, it's against their free will, and they don't want the attachment and that relationship anymore, that's at the point where I can help. Now, when something's attached, I always come from a place of love. I don't cast things out and banish things because they need help, whether they're something very dark or whether they're a lost soul. I always come from a place of love and compassion and will work with them to help them heal and grow and go off peacefully wherever possible. So that is always the absolute priority and always the way that I work with that compassion. And if there's some reason why I'm not able to do that, <coughs> excuse me, then I may have to wait for some extra skills or some extra people to get involved. And sometimes I do work collectively in a group with this type of work, as well as predominantly on an individual basis. And I do this in lots of different ways. So sometimes I will have a client in front of me and something will present itself, either using their vocal cords to speak through them, or they will hear or become aware of something that's attached. Other times I may be working through my mind and whether that person is in front of me and I may see or experience something on them that I then need to be interacting with at an energetic level whilst also doing the therapeutic work with my client or whether it's at a distance where I can sit in a meditative state and tune into a person's energy and their surroundings and interact with whatever's attached at that level to shift things on. So that's a little overview of why sometimes things cannot be removed. It's mainly because someone in the process either hasn't got the skill set or isn't yet ready to deal with it. However, if you do feel you've got an attachment, there is lots of help and support out there. Whether it's the church that you go to, whether it's a spiritual healer, whether it's a therapist, um, lots of people do this work. Choose somebody who you feel is right for you choose somebody who has got a good reputation and trust your intuition most of all. So I hope that gives you a little insight into some of the more unusual work that I am called to do sometimes. Um, please remember to like and subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and bye bye for now.